Hey guys, today we're gonna do shrinky dinks. These magic pieces of plastic go from really large pieces to really small. To start off, we're going to set our ovens at 350 degrees. You're going to grab some plastic here. And just to note, we're looking at number six. And you can know that when you see inside the triangle, it says six, so that's the kind of plastic we're using. We've got permanent markers. I've got a hole punch and some scissors. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna use these permanent markers to color and design. Um, this piece of plastic's really cool and it already has this kind of design in it. So I'm gonna go along with that and just do this really cool rainbow coloring. And uh, you could do anything though. If there's a flat piece, you can color Triforces for Zelda or make Pikachu or whatever your favorite Pokemon is. If you wanna write your name out, make smiley faces, peace signs, Maybe you wanna make your school mascot. Whatever you'd like to draw, the sky is the limit. You just draw it, it's completely up to you. So we're going to, as you see here, I've, I've finished with my rainbow colors. I'm just trying to add a little black outline here. I'm just about done. And what we're going to do next after we've colored everything in is we're gonna grab that pair of scissors and we're gonna cut along the outside of our image. You see that's nice and pretty, kind of looks like stained glass. So grab those scissors and you're going to cut around. Now you may not have a rectangular shape. You can do any shape you'd like. If you want it to be round, if you want it to be the outline of whatever your Pokemon is, or if you're doing a Triforce from Zelda, it does not have to be a rectangle. That just happens to be what I chose. And if you color those side ridges, those also will flatten and come out really nice as well. All right, so now I've cut it out. I'm going to take my hole punch and I'm just gonna put one hole punch in here. And we do this so that we can either make it a keychain or we can put it on a necklace, whatever we'd like to do. All right, we're gonna take our finished piece and put it on a lined cookie sheet and we're gonna put it in the oven for one minute. Now, after one minute time, don't freak out. Yours might look a little crinkled and that's okay. That's all right, throw it back in for another minute. And once it's done that next minute, it'll flatten out. Oh my goodness, look at how cute it is. And it still has that hole where we hole punch, so we'll be able to use that. Now, it's going to be hot, so don't touch it immediately or use something that's metal to kind of make sure that it's nice and steady and ready to be picked up. I love the colors in this. Use lots and lots of color and add some detail. It'll really make your, your Shrinky Dink pop. All right, so that is our completed Shrinky Dink. Now, I have included in all of your packets a nice little necklace that you can use to put your shrinky dink on little chain uh, chain necklace right there you can just put that right on through the hole it should fit right through a standard size hole punch so you should be good to go and pop it right on through and voila now you don't have to make it a necklace you can make it a keychain you can make earrings so many different options but check this out our magic shrinky dink art hope you had fun enjoy